this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. There we are, we are with our bicycle. And now here's another cool thing that you'll learn is that we don't need to do the, uh, the whole blending part. We don't need to do that over again. All we need to do, and it'll probably actually help us here uh, uh, to find out which layers are what to actually have w what's going on. So we're going to have here, this is the text, obviously. This is the, uh, the, the shape here, the bicycle shape. And we know that our text layer here already has our effect, so we can right-click on it. And there's an option here saying copy layer style. So that's what we'll do. And now with our shape here, we can right click on it and do paste layer style. And look at that. It's done. It's already done for you. Isn't that great? It's cool. It's very, very cool. So once we have that done, another part that we want to do here is just add some lines across to delineate our bicycle lane here. So we're going to add a new layer. I'm going to uh, make a selection here just to uh, like a straight line and, and fill this in with white. I'm going to copy it and in the same way I'm going to delete this layer, deselect and create a blank layer. And I'm going to put this uh, line um, to the right. Actually this will be a right line that will go across here. Okay, now we have that set. We're going to go into filter, vanishing point, and I'm going to zoom out here a little bit and do a paste. So we have a paste of our line. And now if you move it you'll notice that our line is not, you know, long enough to, to fit. So that's not a problem. We can do a control and T and stretch our line. Look at that. We can stretch our line and we can make our line as thick or thin as you like. And you can already see it in perspective, which is the good part. So now you can see, you know, how thick do I want this line? So we're going to set this line around here. That looks, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that looks quite good here, like that. Like that. And uh, that looks like a pretty good width. So we're going to click OK. And then we have our width of our line here. Now I'm going to right click and paste layer style. And again, our line is painted. We're good to go. Now we're going to add another line here to the left. So I'm going to, I already have um, our, um, the line that I created without the, pers the perspective. I already have that in my clipboard that's already copied. So I just need to create a new layer here. Put in line and left. And now I can just go into Filter Vanishing Point and uh, zoom out a bit. Paste it again, because like I said, we already had that in the clipboard. And now I can just move this about again and uh, place it here. Control and T and stretch that to fit our perspective here. And there we are. So now we just want to place this uh, at an appropriate place. So it seems uh, realistic here. So we have our cycle lane, say around here and then you just want to play around with the width of it to seem uh, realistic here so we want to make it um, a little bit thinner than this obviously because it's a little bit of a distance uh, that looks pretty good so I'm gonna click OK and there we have our line so once again I'm gonna right click and paste layer style and there we are look at that isn't that cool that's looking really really good now I'm going to show you um, something uh, that involves a different color than white for you to see here how the colors actually look with the setup. So I'm going to do a white, uh, yellow line here, as you see with uh, road markings as well, so that's uh, in keeping here. I'm going to create a new uh, uh, layer here, put in a line right yellow, for example. I'm just going to move this here just to the below that, just so it's in order. It doesn't actually matter for a picture here, but for the... Um, just for the order of things, keeping things on the right and then going to the left. I'm going to, uh, once again, make sure that we are on that uh, layer there. I'm going to go into Filter, Vanishing Point. Uh, actually, no, scratch that. I'm, I actually have to create I have to create a white line, don't I? Uh, uh, a yellow line. So I'm going to create a new layer here uh, real quickly and just uh, select yellow here for a color. And uh, do the same thing, basically. But I just I just need it in yellow. That's, that's the only thing I need. So there we are. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, deselect it and uh, and trash it. So I just needed to copy something, a line that was yellow, that's all. So now that we have that copied, we're going to go into Filter, Vanishing Point, and uh, zoom out a bit, paste that in, move that about, and stretch it. Okay, now that we have it stretched, we can make it as wide as we like and place it uh, where we want it. And like I said, it's very important for you to not mess around with it once you're done here. So. Uh, make sure you're satisfied with the width of things, the placement of things, and so forth. 
I think this looks really good, a little bit separation there. And we'll click OK, and we have our line. Now we're going to right click and paste layer style. Now there's only one thing here that you need to notice is that the yellow is really, really fluorescent. With the white, it looks really realistic, but the yellow is just too realistic. I mean, too fluorescent. Too, you know, it, it wouldn't actually work out this way in, uh, in in nature, as it were. So what we need to do here is actually just uh, reduce the opacity of the the uh, the yellow down to 50%, and you'll find that. 50 or 75 percent, something lower than 100, uh, it starts getting really realistic. So this is what you want to aim for when you're starting to add some color to this effect, is that you want uh, the colors, anything other than white or black, um, to be less than 100 percent. That's my only tip there for you. And now finally, to just complete this, we want to make this realistic as possible. And so you wouldn't have certain parts, for example here we have a leaf fallen. And this wouldn't really happen. The leaf would not be painted over, right? So there's a leaf that is over top of our, our um, text here, which is all the better because it looks even more realistic. So what we need to do here is find out where is this being affected. This is the text that is going over our leaf. So we go to our text layer. We're going to add a, a layer mask here. I'm going to zoom in and with a brush, and I'm going to use a brush. Let me see here. I'm just going to select this brush here. I'm going to select zero hardness. And I'll make the diameter as big or as small as I need to here as I'm painting. But make sure that your hardness is set to zero. And now what you want to do with a small brush is just delete. And you're deleting it with black, remember. You're going to delete the parts of the, uh, of the text here, the white parts, that are not supposed to be there. So we just go along and start removing that to make it start seeming very realistic. So we're going to remove some of the parts here of the vine that it's uh, going over. Uh, anything else? Let's have a look here. Is there any other part? We're just going to get rid of all the parts where it doesn't look realistic to have paint over foliage, basically. There we are, and that's looking a lot better. So uh, we have that fixed there. Now we just need to sort out the things. For example, here's we have the shape here, the bicycle shape. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to go around and just delete some of the parts uh, from all the other parts where it doesn't look quite realistic. Okay, and there we have it. So we have our full-fledged bicycle lane painted on, looking beautiful and realistic with the leaves coming over top. Isn't that just gorgeous? So there you go. That's the uh, culmination of uh, the whole series here of the, uh, the graffiti series on how to make it seem like things were painted on uh, when you took the photo. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.